The Courtship of the Yongi Bongi Bo. Read for LibriVox.org by Andrew Macbeth. On the coast of Coromandel, where the early pumpkins blow, in the middle of the woods lived the Yongi Bongi Bo. Two old chairs and half a candle, one old jug without a handle. These were all his worldly goods in the middle of the woods. These were all the worldly goods of the Yongi Bongi Bo. Of the Yongi Bongi Bo. Once, among the bong trees walking where the early pumpkins blow, to a little heap of stones came the Yongi Bongi Bo. There he heard a lady talking to some milk white hens of Dorking. Tis the Lady Jingly Jones, on that little heap of stones sits the Lady Jingly Jones, said the Yongi Bongi Bo, said the Yongi Bongi Bo. Lady Jingly, Lady Jingly, Sitting where the pumpkins blow, Will you come and be my wife? Said the Yongi Bongi Bo. I am tired of living singly, On this coast so wild and shingly, I am a-weary of my life, If you come and be my wife, Quite serene would be my life. Said the Yongi Bongi Bo. Said the Yongi Bongi Bo. On this coast of Coromandel, Shrimps and watercresses grow, Prawns are plentiful and cheap, said the Yongi Bongi Bo. You shall have my chairs and candle, and my jug without a handle. Gaze upon the rolling deep, fish is plentiful and cheap, as the sea my love is deep, said the Yongi Bongi Bo, said the Yongi Bongi Bo. Lady Jingly answered sadly, and her tears began to flow. Your proposal comes too late, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. I would be your wife most gladly, here she twirled her fingers madly. But in England I've a mate. Yes, you've asked me far too late. For in England I've a mate, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Mr. Jones, his name is Handel, Handel Jones, Esquire and Co. Dorking fowls delights to send, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Keep, oh, keep your chairs and candle, and your jug without a handle. I can merely be your friend. Should my Jones more Dorking send, I will give you three, my friend. Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Though you've such a tiny body, and your head so large doth grow, though your hat may blow away, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo, though you're such a hoddy doddy, yet I wish that I could modify the words I needs must say. Will you please to go away? That is all I have to say, Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. Down the slippery slopes of Myrtle, where the early pumpkins blow, to the calm and silent sea fled the Yongi Bongi Bo. There, beyond the bay of Girtle, lay a large and lively turtle. You're the cove, he said, for me. On your back, beyond the sea, turtle, you shall carry me, said the Yongi Bongi Bo, said the Yongi Bongi Bo. Through the silent roaring ocean, did the turtle swiftly go. Holding fast upon his shell rode the Yongi Bongi Bo, with a sad, primeval motion towards the sunset isles of Boshan. Still the turtle bore him well, holding fast upon his shell. Lady Jingly Jones, farewell, sang the Yongi Bongi Bo, sang the Yongi Bongi Bo. From the coast of Coromandel did that lady never go. On that heap of stones she mourns for the Yongi Bongi Bo. On that coast of Coromandel, in his jug without a handle, still she weeps and daily moans. On that little heap of stones, to her dorking hens she moans for the Yongi Bongi Bo, for the Yongi Bongi Bo. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.